An auto award featuring 50 journalists who all drive and rate new cars and vote. That's what makes the North American Car and Truck of the Year Awards unique and one of the most sought after. Well, the votes are in and local poor business editor Rod Maloney has the winners. Nat Toy, the North American Car and Truck of the Year Awards could have gone anywhere, any state, any city to award their trophy to the OEM CEOs. But they decided, you know what? The TCF Center, the old Kobo, is home. And the North American International Auto Show is their roots, so they stayed right here. The 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Would have been the talk about vehicle at this year's show, and it's likely to remain buzzworthy at this year's show in June, as it won Car of the Year trophy in daring fashion. Nactoy juror and free press auto writer Mark Phelan sings his praises. It's a great car. It's the biggest change in the Corvette in the car's whole history because of the engineering change from the engine being in front to behind the passenger compartment. That's massive in every possible way, and, it, and they did it brilliantly. The Jeep Gladiator. Pickup is an outside-the-box vehicle for the SUV maker, but one the public has clamored for and is buying like hotcakes. An excited Jeep North America President Jim Morrison touted the Gladiator's versus it is a true Jeep, but it also delivers best-in-class towing and best-in-class payload and, uh, and what our uh, pickup truck uh, buyers are looking for in America, too. And a first for Kia Telluride. Winning the SUV of the Year Award. The company calls it its big, bold, boxy Kia, but Phelan says something else is the real allure. It doesn't do anything all that different from what some other SUVs do, but it looks like a million bucks. And in many ways, that's what they like. All of these judges drive these vehicles for about a week during the year. They like great design. They like great functionality. And they like the car makers to go outside the box. And that's what Jeep did with the Gladiator. And certainly Corvette did with the mid-engine version. Back to you. Yeah, and Rod, besides the style and the utility and everything you just mentioned, what is there anything else that sticks out that you know gives somebody the upper hand with these cars and vehicles? Absolutely. They want to see value. Now, think about it. Most of the cars that the Corvette uh, competes against are like Ferraris, Maseratis, and the like. So at sixty dollars to $70,000, that's a great value. Yeah. Also, the Gladiator, pretty good value there. And, uh, and also, um, they said that one of the vehicles that didn't win but had great value was the Toyota Sonata. Oh, all right. Well, a lot of vehicles I think people are now Googling to just check out. All right, Rod, thanks. <laughs>